Liposuction is a topic that I, get, I frequently get asked about, and specifically, uh, patients come asking for um, uh, reduction in, in fat in particular areas of the body, and for those patients, liposuction works really well. Um, most people are familiar with the concept of liposuction. The idea is really to remove some of the fat cells um, in areas that are a little bit bigger, uh, where you'd like a little bit of volume reduction. Uh, best candidates for a liposuction procedure are patients actually who are overall quite fit and really have specific problem areas where they would like to reduce the volume a little bit. Uh, liposuction actually isn't really used for just general overall um, weight loss. I occasionally have a patient who um, uh, comes and is a little bit overweight and um, would like me to sort of reduce them overall. And liposuction, unfortunately, isn't really a great choice for that. For that, really the best choice is diet and exercise. Um, but for patients who have gone through diet exercise and really, you know, um, everything looks pretty fit, but there's just one area, let's say the, the abdominal flank areas or just your upper or lower abdomen where they really can, uh, can get much improvement, uh, liposuction is a great choice for them. Um, in addition, liposuction, since by virtue of what we're doing, it's really reducing the fat in the area, it's really used for areas where there's no extra skin. So if people have ex excess skin that's sagging, in those, pe uh, those people, typically there's a different surgical procedure, either a tummy tuck if it's the, um, the abdomen or a, a, so another associated surgical procedure. The uh, procedure itself is uh, straightforward. It's um, basically done in two steps. The first step is to um, insert in, into the area of liposuction sort of this tumescent fluid, and that's really a fluid that is a combination of a, a painkiller to make it more comfortable for the patient, as well as a, what's called the vasoconstrictive agent, uh, which is an agent used to shrink the blood vessels to ensure that there's less uh, bruising. That's what I typically use. Uh, and then afterward, giving this time to take effect, then really going in with the liposuction cannula, which is sort of a, um, almost like a metal straw, um, and essentially just kind of slowly and carefully taking out the, the fat cells. The trick on liposuction and the, um, the important part of liposuction in terms of um, the surgical technique is to really try to get a nice reduction of where the, the ultimate goal is very smooth and looks natural with the rest of the body. Um, you don't want to take too much fat out of one area and have it be out of harmony or out of sync with the rest of the body. At the same time, you don't want to take out too much fat such that there are any um, irregularities in the skin. And I think that typically, as with most aspects of plastic surgery, uh, if you are conservative with your goals and it's conservative in the execution of the surgery, the results can be quite nice. Uh, Post-operatively, patients do have a lot of dressings on them. Um, I have my liposuction patients wear a compression garment afterward. It's basically something that I have them wear that's quite tight, and the idea is to really push on the skin so that the, sh the skin will kind of shrink wrap a little bit over the, the smaller volume. Uh, what we don't want is for the fat cells to be removed and then the skin to just sag because it's not as filled up now. We want the skin to actually contract and kind of shrink wrap around it, and the compression garment is very good for helping that. Uh, I have patients wear the, the compression garment really almost all the time for the first two weeks and then as much as they can for the first six weeks. Uh, after that, the body does continue to remodel um, and the, the, the results do continue to improve. Um, overall, I think that uh, patients after liposuction, I encourage them after the, um, the surgery to use that sort of as a kickstart um, to resume good diet and exercise.